Hey guys, welcome back to my Animal Adventures YouTube channel and today I want to talk to you about breeding reticulated pythons. We are in the middle of the breeding season right now. I have two big reticulated pythons. I have my female, she's about 60 pounds and my male's about 25 pounds. They're both really beautiful snakes and the thing I like about retics is the size and the, and the beauty of them. They're really beautiful and, and the power. They just have a tremendous amount of power. If you've ever held a reticulated python on in your hands it's it has more power than you can even imagine and I think the muscle mass for a snake must be like three or four times the mass of like a person's muscle you, you figure you know how you, you can almost imagine how strong a snake is based on the size and it's like four times as strong is that it's pretty it's pretty amazing and then when you start feeding them and they get in a feeding frenzy and the speed and the power it's just let me tell you it's really really exciting and sometimes it can take your breath away just how fast and how powerful they are and let me tell you I can watch these reticulated pythons all day long in their feeding frenzy and that's what I'm going to do today is I'm going to feed Lucy a few more rats and if you watched my video yesterday I actually fed her her first rat in four weeks it's they go quite a long time between feedings and then what I do is is, is I have a four week rotation and let me show you my mail over here this is Sunny He's a purple albino, he's part dwarf and part super dwarf, and he's actually on a fast right now. He won't eat anything, and I just pretty much stopped offering him food, because you can tell he's definitely not in the mood to, to eat. And sometimes these retics, especially in the breeding season, they can fast for six to nine months at a time, and they just refuse to eat. And that's another reason you really want to put a lot of weight on them coming up to the breeding season because as soon as you pair them and they go on that long fast you definitely want them to have the body reserves not only to produce eggs but you also want them to be healthy along the way so today I'm going to feed Lucy some more rats and we'll see how many she'll take and uh, yesterday I fed one and it seemed like she was just kind of getting in the mood and, and today I think she'll probably be in a feeding frenzy so it'll be really exciting <laughs> let's check that out okay so I have rat number two for Lucy and this time I actually heated it up under the heat lamp so she should take it a lot easier this time <laughs> wow that is crazy Whew. Definitely not like the last rat. Wow. All right, I think Lucy can take a third rat. I have one that's a double extra large coming in at 465 grams. And let me unlock this first. <laughs> Whoa. Jesus. He's definitely getting into to feeding mode here. Oh, <laughs> no hesitation there. Wow, she snatched that thing right up. All right, guys, are you ready for this? I have another double extra large, her fourth rat, and I'm sure she will take it. It's definitely looking like she's ready to go. Alright guys, I think Lucy is ready for her fifth rat. I was just going through my rat rack and I found this big old rat and he weighs 498 grams. He's a triple extra large. By far one of the biggest rats I have ever produced. And that is going to be her next meal. Whoa! <laughs> she missed and hit my hand. Almost hit my hand. <laughs> she hit the glass. Woo! That was a little scary. Now she's just laying on it. Whew! Boy, that was close. I'm glad that class was there. Wow! Whew! Lucy is crazy! Oh, boy! <laughs> she's sitting right on it. I've been heating these rats with a heat lamp, and I think that really has been getting her <laughs> to go crazy. She's been going food crazy. She's whipped up in a frenzy. Boy. Oh, she's such a beautiful snake. You just definitely have to watch yourself around these retics.
<laughs> She's just laying right on it. <sighs> Definitely don't want to get bit by a girl like that, that's for sure. It's weird, she just can't quite find it sometimes, even with the heat lamp. <laughs> That's just weird. Seems like if they miss the first strike, they get a little thrown off. I think she's given up. <laughs> well, I stopped recording because it took her a while to find it. But here is the tail end of rat number five. I can't believe how big the um, snake can stretch its mouth to go around those rodents. It's pretty amazing. Doesn't even look real. That is unbelievable. So take a look at this snake. After five rodents, I just kind of move my hand in front of the glass. <laughs> and she's like, she thinks it's a rodent. She's like keyed in on getting another one. 
It's a good thing this glass is here. <laughs> I'm thinking she might take a bite at my hand. Definitely don't want to put your hand in there if a snake is in feeding mode. <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Okay, so that's it for feeding Lucy. I'm going to cut her off at five rats. I know she's almost in that mood to where she could eat a few more rats, but I think I'm going to wait until tomorrow and see if she's still in the feeding mode and see what her body condition really looks like because I think a snake can actually overeat all in the same day if you feed them too much and keep in mind she this is enough food she has to go for another uh, four weeks before I'll feed her again and more than likely this time when I pair her up uh, probably uh, in the next few days when I pair her up she'll probably go on that breeding fast and she may go on a six month long fast that's another reason I'm really beefing her up and the other thing is I've had some comments why don't you feed rabbits instead of rats and the reason is is because my whole rat breeding operation the the reason I bought the retix is to really use up my retired breeders and I actually have six more tubs of, of like five or six really big jumbo rats that I need to use up and if Lucy doesn't eat them all then I'm just going to have to uh, probably sell them to the pet store but I just have almost an unlimited supply of, of rodents to, to feed these snakes. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.